Hello, I'm Sangeeta Ram, Technical Marketing Engineer for Valo NPI. In this short video, I'll explain to you how to download and install the ODB++ Viewer. To obtain the ODB++ Viewer, one must first be a member of the ODB++ Solutions Alliance. Becoming a member is free and can be accomplished by visiting www.odb-sa.com and then clicking on the join button. Register by entering the required information. If you are an already registered user, you can log in after entering your credentials. Once you log in, click on the Downloads tab or directly on screen from here, you will be taken to the Downloads page to download the latest version of the ODB++ Viewer. The ODB++ Viewer is free of charge. Please take a look at the system requirements. To make sure you have a supported system and then download the 32-bit or 64-bit version of the ODB++ Viewer. For this demo, I'll download the ODB++ 64-bit version. Once you start downloading, please note that you will see a registration key on screen which needs to be entered as a necessary step during installation. So, this key can also be found in the readme.txt file that is inside the downloaded folder. I have extracted the downloaded zip file into this folder here and as you can see I have the ODB++ viewer version 10 for Windows 64-bit installer along with required files and there is the readme.txt file which uh, includes the registration key. Please also go through the information here and then copy this information and then I run this installer to launch the Mentor Graphics install wizard. Please go through the information on this first screen here and on clicking next, you will be taken to the uh, license agreement. Please review the license agreement and if you click agree, you will be taken to the next screen where you can enter the registration key that you just copied previously. And on clicking next, you will be taken to the next screen and you could also see that it's now being installed at this location that I want. Uh, you could also browse to a different uh, location if you prefer an install there. So on clicking next button, I will be asked to say if I want to create this new directory. I say yes. And if you are okay with all the settings that you have done so far, uh, so I'm okay. So I click install. So the installation runs through very quickly. So the installation is now finished and I want to make sure I have installed correctly by launching the ODB++ Viewer. So I double click on the ODB++ Viewer shortcut that has been created by the installer and I get to this jobless screen. I click on the import button and the installation folder comes with a sample file. So I go ahead and open this which is available in this location. As you can see here, I'm going to import this demo underscore design dot tgz file and click on OK here. As you can see, I'm able to launch the viewer and import this ODB++ uh, design uh, file that I have. If you would like to understand how to use the ODB++ viewer, then Please take a look at the how to use the ODB++ Viewer video that is available on the uh, www.odb-sa.com webpage. And that brings us to the end of this demo. Thank you very much.